The T-Rex King is back on his throne, bitches, and it's awesome as fuck. Although I can't say the same thing for the Raptors, who are now basically trained dogs. So, Jurassic World, or I mistakenly called it a couple days back, Jurassic World 3 by mistake. I don't know how it came out, but my friends are not letting me live it down since I said, I'm going to go watch Jurassic World 3, and they said, you should say Jurassic World 3, but anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, so yeah, friends are bugging me now that I'm saying that, that I said that, so yeah. So on to Jurassic World. Amazing movie. Better than the last one, which Jurassic Park 3 was just utter, complete bullshit. Chris Pratt did an amazing job, because this guy, I swear to God, I don't know how the fuck he went from Parks and Rec to being the fat guy, the funny fat guy, to being in all these movies, and just doing awesome in everything. He just went complete 180 on everything, or, or complete 360, I don't know the math, what? I'm, I, I'm doing it wrong. So, yeah. It reminds me of when Jamie Foxx went from like in Living Color. All of a sudden, he, all of a sudden he was in the movie Ray, and he was taken seriously. But anyways, back to Jurassic World. Was it just me, or did anybody else want these fucking kids to just fucking die already? Although I get the idea that it's supposed to be like the, almost the same thing as the f first movie where there was two kids, but goddamn, there was no point for these motherfuckers. Every time they're on screen, I'm saying, like, shut up, Facebook. I'm hoping that they would just die. Because there's no point to them going off route on a dinosaur island. What the fuck? The new dinosaur, the Onsimini, the Ominous, I don't know, the T Rex 2.0. Whatever they called it. He's pretty badass. Or she. Since all the dinosaurs are she, yeah. Kick ass. Did, scared the crap out of me half the time. Not really, but it was pretty scary. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. Fuck. I'm dropping everything up in this bitch. What I'm saying is... It's T-Rex 2.0. is very intimidating. Showed up with a bang. As for the raptors, like I said, they're pretty much trained dogs now, which kind of pissed me off. It's like, come on. Entire movie I was thinking like, eat the fucking guy. You're a raptor. You're supposed to be smart. What did the ha what the hell happened to all the last three movies where they made you super intelligent motherfuckers? Although I gotta admit, Jurassic Park 3 never happened. It never happened. So I'll just say one and two. They're making these guys intelligent as a motherfucker. And here they're like trained dogs. Although they did give a glimpse of why they didn't attack first hand when they first showed Chris Pratt in the cage with him. Because like as soon as he ran out, they started attacking him. So that at least they know when to attack. But him doing this... Attack the fucker! I know he's the main star, but at least attempt to bite his ass. I don't know. Have somebody get eaten, although they did go crazy in the end. He's now his homeboy, Chris Pratt and his homeboy Raptors. They're tight like this, man. They're tight. And speaking of being homeboys with the Raptors, what's up with the ending where, like, the Raptors are pretty much protecting his ass from the T-Rex 2.0 and the awesome fight from the original T-Rex guarding his kingdom? Is it me or did anybody else wet their pants when the T-Rex showed up and it's all, you know the shit was about to go down. Everybody in this theater was like going, oh shit. Luckily, he didn't go down like a punk like in Jurassic Park 3. But like I said, Jurassic Park 3 never happened. It's our Highlander 2. Yes. It can be that. But yeah, the T-Rex, T-Rex 2.0 fight. Freaking amazing with the raptor providing backup. It was funny to see the little guy take on the two biggest motherfuckers on the island. Shut up, Facebook. Maybe I should turn off Facebook when I'm doing these things, but oh well. I'm doing this off the cuff, so who cares? So anyways. I never knew a movie would try to make me fucking cry over a fucking brontosaurus dying. You see a brontosaurus 
bleeding all over the place in one scene, and suddenly the music starts playing, or something like that, some sad music, and they're like zooming in, and I swear to God, people were sniffing. There were people in my audience fucking crying over this. How the fuck do you cry over something that died years ago? It's a dinosaur, I don't understand this. Am I the only one that sees this? How do you cry over something that died years ago? Okay then, speaking of music, the Jurassic Park theme is back from the first and second. Yeah, the first and second. I'm not gonna cry. I marked out a little bit inside, like I, I was happy is all I can say, like hearing that for the first time in a long time, even though we've seen Jurassic Park come back in 3D, but still, it's a new movie, so it's kind of brand new. I was expecting someone to say clever girl to one of the raptors in this movie, but it never came, sadly. Damn it. Facebook added again. Like I said, off the cuff. Pterodactyls flying over the place grabbing people and eating them. That's a day where people are gonna sue that part all day, but no one's complaining anything at the end where like they're all in this base, tending to their wounds, no one's mad. They're just going, oh, it's just another Monday. This shit happens. Yeah. Also, the two kids' mother, the two kids, they have a, this, whoever the mother plays in this movie, whoever, I can't speak. The mother who, plays the, the, fuck, the actress who plays the mother for the two kids in this movie does nothing but cry every time you see her in this movie. First scene, yeah, she's crying at the airport. It's like, I'm gonna miss you. Then you see her again, crying on the phone at a board meeting. Then calling her sister, crying. And then in the end, you see her kids and she cries. Nothing but crying from this woman. She, basically, she's trying to be Sally Field, but failing. There's little hints of Jurassic Park from the first movie, like little blips here and there that I kind of smiled over because there were hints, like clues, what, what you, like homages from the first. And it wasn't me or did like that one guy that glasses from the tech room who just stayed behind. Did he not remind you of like the Wayne Knight character except not fat and not evil in any way because his cubicle was all messy. I don't know. I just got that vibe because like as soon as they said like clean up your cubicle is disgusting. I immediately thought of Wayne Knight from the first movie. I think I was the only one that got that joke or it was a joke. I don't know. I thought it was a joke. But anyways, awesome movie to watch. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. T-Rex is king once again. Took over his throne. He has his throne once more. Game of Thrones. I'm that's a stupid joke. So stupid. <laughs> I don't even know why I tried that. But anyways, go see this movie, guys. It's a must-see. Go watch it. Humanoid Freak Out. I'm not wearing any pants. Take it easy. Bye.